The hospital is normally considered the only institution where emergency care can be provided. It should be a place with reliable, extensive and diagnostic facilities for treatment of fractures. But this for some is not the case, as they prefer the services of traditional bone setters when accidents occur and people suffer broken bones or dislocation. Traditional bone setting is an old practice found in almost all communities of the world. The practice is a highly specialized form of traditional medicine. Before the advent of chiropractors, osteopaths, orthopedics and physical therapists, bone setters were the main providers treating dislocated bones, broken bones, sports injuries, joint problems, wounds and any other thing related to the bones. Most of these traditional bone setters have no formal education. The craft is normally passed on from father to son. Training in most cases is via apprenticeship. Traditional bone setting plays a substantial role in the Ghanaian healthcare system. 20-year-old Nanakojo Seyajimang is a steel bender who fell from a high-tension pole while working. He confirms that opting for a bone setter treatment was guided by the severity of his fracture, availability of the service and his financial status. According to him, the hospital was his first port of call when the accident occurred but did not experience any significant improvement as he could neither sit nor walk for months. A year on, Kojo tells me he can now walk and sit with the aid of a metal. His story is no different from others who patronize the services of traditional bone setters. I got an accident on the vehicle and then immediately they rushed me to the hospital, Achimota Hospital, for one month treatment. But someone recommended other herbal treatment. So when I came here for almost one month, I get the improvement. It's much better than the earlier one. My grandmother died months after she was discharged from the hospital from an untreated fracture. This scared me, so when I heard of this place and with people's testimonies, I decided to come here. In this region, we regard this service, so I opted to come here instead of going to the hospital. Now I am seeing a lot of improvement in my health. Kwame Atiarikere is a traditional bone setter and hails from Navrongo in the Upper East region of Ghana. His Jinipankwa Orthopedic Herbal Clinic at Kweu Pipiase has been home for treatment, seven residents of the community and adjoining towns for the past 60 years. He has no formal medical qualification but insists on an X-ray film from every patient before treatment. So, how does he achieve results? <laughs> When my grandfather started, there was nothing like x-rays. Working on bones is a very difficult task because you need to critically examine the problem. According to him, the trade was passed on to him by his late grandfather some 80 years back in Navrongo. Unlike other bone setters who include orthodox medicine in treating patients, Mr. Atiarikere sticks to his traditional way of practice. Hot water, he says, is one of the basic items he cannot do without. The bark of a tree is scraped, pounded in a mortar and sent to the mill to be further ground into powder. Shea butter is then added to treat the patient. There is nothing like orthodox medicine. But Mr. Atiarikere is not growing any younger and cannot run all the chores associated with the vocation. This is where his children come in. Mr. Atiarikere has trained his four sons, Yao, Balore, Nase, and David. I took up the profession for my father about seven years ago. We treat injuries and anything in connection with the bone. We are part of a regulated body known as the Ghana National Association of Traditional Healers. We go for monthly meetings in Accra and pay deals of 20 Ghana cities. Before treatment, we ask for a bottle of schnapps, a chicken, a bar of key soap, and an unspecified amount of money. Prayer is important when we treat wounds. That's why we take the schnapps and chicken. 
The soap is used to wash our hands and clean the premises. But bear in mind, this is not compulsory. You can decide to bring the items or not to. Like the hospital, his orthopedic herbal clinic keeps record of every patient they attend to. Rooms on the compound serve as wards accommodating patients in critical condition who need to be admitted, while taxis are readily available to carry out patients to their destination. Despite the fact that traditional bone setters complement the work of trained orthopedics, there are calls for a more collaborative effort to enable them improve their services. From Jinipankwa Orthopedic Herbal Clinic, here in Pipiasikwewu, Rebecca Iwa reporting for Ghana Television News.